And now to extra perspective. While we have seen a little relief recently from the late monsoon season, this year's overall lack of rain and extreme heat has been nothing short of brutal for the borderland. It's been affecting infrastructure such as the power grid and hampering crops such as the Mesilla Valley's chili fields. It's also hurting ranchers east of El Paso, forcing some to sell their cattle. ABC 7's Jason McNabb traveled to Sierra Blanca to get an inside look at how damaging the mega drought has been. While some recent and desperately needed rainfall have made the land here in Hudspeth County a little greener, ranchers tell me it simply isn't enough. I've messed with cows all my life. Arvin West, the sheriff of Hudspeth County, also ranches. While ranching has been a decades long tradition and profession for West and his family, the dry conditions, especially from this year, have made raising cattle more difficult. Feed alone is now over $400 a ton. In the past, it was around you know, $175, $200 a ton, but because of the droughtness and because of the, the not having enough water to be able to raise a good amount of alfalfa and stuff like that, even the farmers are suffering because of the drought. These conditions are leading many ranchers in the area to downsize the amount of cattle they're herding, including West. Some ranchers are only at 50 to 10% of their normal capacity. For example, this place here, I'm only running about half of what I normally could as far as stocking it. And, and that's throughout the, throughout the whole county is, is that way, you know. The remoteness of Hudspeth County adds another problem. County Judge Joanna McKenzie says due to the small people to land ratio, drought conditions have been inaccurately reported to the National Weather Service. Take a look at this drought report from earlier this month. You can see El Paso and Culberson counties are in a severe drought, while Hudspeth County, right smack in the middle of the two, is only labeled as moderate. This creates more consequences. Some ranchers are stating that the challenge with not having data reflecting appropriately is in terms of how much rain they're getting at their specific ranch. When they go back to insurance, insurance is saying this data, this map shows that you are not in a drought, therefore you're not going to be able to qualify for subsidized feeding to keep these animals healthy and alive. And because of that, a direct result is they have to go and sell their cattle. Sheriff West says while the cattle market is good right now, it's still hard for ranchers to make back their losses. If they're lucky to break even, then, then they break even. Judge McKenzie says if you live in Hudspeth County, the best way you can help with this situation is to report the rainfall on your property to the NOAA. If you have a rain gauge, you can simply write down the amount collected each day, and she says you can report up to three months worth of back collected data. Use your voice. One voice makes an absolute impact and can make the difference between our local ranchers being able to continue to feed and maintain their herds until we hope rains start to come back again. Now, if you live here in Hudspeth County, I have a link showing you how you can submit your rain data included in this article for the story on KVIA.com. For now reporting in Sierra Blanca, I'm Jason McNabb. ABC 7.